UFC lightweight division bout. Pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the feet. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. All right, here he is, the decorated kickboxer, back for more here tonight, and he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out, but he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, com he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. What you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their terms. He's doing it on his terms. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker, one of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 146 pounds, fighting out of Orlando, Florida, Assassin. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 153 pounds. Fighting out of Beijing, China, The Flash! Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. Outstanding matchup of strikers. Any chance this thing hits the canvas tonight, Sean? I don't believe so. I think when you have two high-level strikers like you have in these two men, they're going to go to the center of the octagon, and it's going to be a kickboxing match. A kickboxing match that you would see in a ring. Tonight, we get to watch it inside of an octagon. A big power punch land. Now we get back to range. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Let's get going now. Keep moving. Protect your Look at him whip his hip into that kick. That leg kick's coming. 
very tricky when he throws that body kick. Well, that kick landed the body beautifully placed right underneath that elbow. Let's see if he makes the adjustments now defensively to avoid opening up that midsection to further damage by that kick. Oh, nice right hand. Oh, nice. Nice. Just a slip there. Stay focused. Nice punch land. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, big head kick land. Caught that. Now, there's danger in that, too, because when you start reaching down to catch that kick, here comes the high kick. And and you're in a lot of trouble. Oh, and now he lands the knee. I'm not sure his opponent saw that coming. He didn't see it coming because he does such a great job of just throwing. He doesn't have any tell when he's going to throw a knee. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Chain wrestle. That will land it clean. Let's move that head. Let's move that head. Oh, straight right. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Once again, looking for that highlight reel KO with that front kick. <laughs> Trying to hammer that lead leg. Let's go. Look for that takedown. Going back to his patented kicks here, but unable to find the target there. And he landed the right hand there. Try to establish that jab. Nice strike. Going orthodox now. Body kick is blocked. Oh, collar tie. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. While the body was wide open, his opponent took advantage. Kick to the body, lands flush. He's going to have to make some adjustments here moving forward. Hands high, hands high. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, beautiful strike there as he lands up top, and he does so right after catching the leg. So maybe you thought he would catch the leg and go for a takedown. Instead, he goes for the punch, and he certainly found the range on that one. Oh, it's just opening up on him now. 15 seconds to go. Flush right hand is true. Wow! Good stick. Nice sidekick. Five minutes in the books. All right, so a big round for him there. Maybe even a 10-8. There was a big knockdown in there courtesy of the kick. DC, talk us through it. He found his spot. I mean, he knew that there was a weakness. He found the spot. He recognized an opportunity to go and chase down that head kick. He threw it, it landed, and he almost got the finish. into his opponent. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. 
Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Oh, an educated jab there. I could watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. Still nice body kick there. Your your Caught that kick there. Oh, he landed that knee to the midsection. Got to think his opponent's going to feel that one in the morning. And he's going to continue to throw that strike because he knows that his opponent can't take many of them. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Keep your head in it. Keep your head in it. Hey! Look at the angle of that nice body kick. And a miss with the right hook. Just over three minutes to go. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Well, confidence is high. I repeat, confidence is high. And I got to think when you knock a fighter down in the previous round, that's going to think you can do it again. I mean, confidence is key in anything you do in regards to fighting. So for him to secure that knockdown early, he has to feel good going forward. volume of strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. A big punch land over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Just missing on the high kick there. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, misses with the jab. Nice body kick. Head kick attempt, but the fighter got the right hand up. Just out of range with that right hook. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. That's a big strike right there. Let's get some offense. Let's get going. Yes. Oh, that is a huge shot there, DC. I'm not sure how he stayed upright. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talks to your toughness. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault, and really has been all night long as he... There as he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Seconds winding down in round two. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, let's get you a replay from that previous round. It was the big knockdown courtesy of that kick that, that nearly closed the show for good. It almost closed the show, but nothing's more discouraging than when you get somebody hurt that bad and you don't shut the door. He has to go back to work now knowing 
that he's got about as tough a guy as, if, as he's ever had in front of him in the octagon tonight. here just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Shot lands. Oh, nice right hand. Come on, buddy. Keep Just on. unable to quite find that range. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Big knee there. That's on the feet. His opponent in a lot of trouble now. That was Cain Velasquez's punch of choice. Every time he lands that overhand right, he hurt people bad. And this guy has his opponent hurt very badly again. Three minutes to go in round three. Well, he has really started to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Big punch land. Ooh. He lands the head kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Uppercut counter. That his opponent still stands. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Go, guys, work! Got clip with the right hand. Oh, big left hook there. Head kick. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh! Looked like it did stun him a little bit. He's got a serious right punch and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot and he will continue to throw it until he finds his knockout. Significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Ah, oh, he's been working hard defensively. Kick block there. What a body kick. Well, he felt like he had to kick effectively to win this fight, and he is certainly doing that right now. Nice combination of kicks. This kickboxing coach is feeling ecstatic right now. Watch. Oh! He's out! He's done! He's done! What a performance! 
Just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight, it's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship-winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine is going to stop for this contest at four minutes, 25 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, the flag. Oh, and there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. <laughs> I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? This is going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight.